So let's get started today. In today's video, we're going to be making one of my favorite things to eat, which is collard greens. So let's get prepped. Just wash your greens. You want to soak them uh, a little water and some apple cider vinegar. I've already put in the water. I'm going to fill this up the sink. I'm going to soak it. Now, of course, the first thing you want to do is you want to scrub, wash. Well, I disinfect the sink first with Lysol. Let that sit for about 10 minutes. And then I come back and I actually scrub it out with you know, soap and water, and then wash it like it's a big dish. But well, here we go, we're gonna let that uh, fill up and we're gonna get that soaking. All right, so as you can see, it's enough water that they can soak under there. This is two bushels of greens right here, okay? I let them soak for at least 30 to 40 minutes first, and then what I'm gonna do, I'll show you, I'll come back and I basically will start scrubbing each individual leaf. As far as the vinegar, uh, you can put as much as you want. I put probably about half a cup in there. You know, and I'm gonna let that soak for, like I said, 30 minutes. All right, guys. So while your greens are soaking, I'm going to start prepping, but I also want to show you guys everything that we're gonna be using to make these greens awesome, okay? Of course, now this, normally I would use a uh, smoked ham hot, but this person preferred uh, not to go with the ham hot, so I'm gonna use some bacon. Um, either smoked ham hock or smoked turkey necks is good. Like a person don't prefer pork. Um, this right here is probably my biggest secret. Like I don't use water. I use the chicken broth. Um, um, gotta cut up these wonderful sweet peppers. Okay, uh, this works too. I like to. I'm gonna drop one of these cubes in there as well. Okay, I'm gonna use some garlic salt. I'm chop up a nice onion. I'm gonna use a little bit of red pepper flakes, and then. This is my second big secret. Yes, I know you're like, collard greens, honey. Man, if you don't know, you don't know. I'm gonna tell you, it's amazing. So stick around and I'll show you the rest of this video. All right, guys, so my greens are all clean to wash and I went ahead and uh, separated them from the leaves. You know, that's what these are. These are the stems. We don't need all of those. We don't need technically any of those. I do keep some on there because I do chop them in to uh, be part of my greens. Uh, as you can see, I chopped up the onions and the peppers here, and I'm going to cut up these greens, and then we'll take the next step. Okay, so actually, guys, you know what I thought about it? Um, I, I, I should have showed you how I'm going to cut my greens. So I like to stack up a couple of leaves together, you know, get like three or four together at one time, and then I just roll them up. Roll them up. I roll them in tight little bundles. I'm using my hand to hold the camera in one hand, so I can't really show you, but I'm going to... I'm going to do it in a minute, but I roll them up, and then I basically just cut across like this. So, I'll show you that in just a second. Get them nice and tight, as you can see, and just come across. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want, you know, totally up to you. I like to have big pieces of greens. I like the thin pieces too, but I have two whole bundles, so, you know, I'm going to have plenty of greens. But as you can see, nice little pinwheels like that, small, to the point. All right, guys, so here's our greens all chopped up. We got a big pile of greens there. Come on, focus. There we go. All right, and like I say, here's our onions, our peppers. As you notice, I kept three of these stalks, so I'm actually going to chop these into parts too. Uh, they soak up a lot of the flavor from the broth. Anyway, and I, 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 every so often I like to get that nice little chunk of crispiness in there. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, get our bacon. And we're going to chop that up into little pieces. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. 
So we are gonna take our whole 12 ounce pack of bacon. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So you don't have to go buy the expensive stuff. I grabbed some really inexpensive bacon um, from one of the local grocery stores here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna chop it up. All right guys, so as you can see what I did, I took the whole thing of bacon, I just rolled it into like this little roll because we, we don't have to separate it now. We don't have to fry strips individually. We wanna cut it into little chunks like this. Keeping your fingers out the way. Cause we are gonna just throw this straight in the pan just like we would do our fat back. See that? Just cutting big chunks out of it. We're gonna throw it in the pan just like this, all in clumps. It's gonna cook up nicely. It's gonna give good flavor to our collard greens, okay? Now you see this fat and stuff? We're gonna use that too. That is gonna, that's what's gonna cook the bacon for us. And it's gonna give us all that flavor that we want, okay? We're not gonna have to strain anything. You'll see what we're gonna do with it here in just a second, okay? All right, guys, here we are. So we are going to take our bacon. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the pot. Yes, our little pot, not our not a frying pan because like I said, we're gonna fry all that right here. Um, get all the pieces you could. I got it on a medium heat. It's not hot yet, so don't worry about it. I'm not sticking my hand in a hot pan. But um, this is what we're gonna get started with. We'll be right back. Got the sizzle going as you can see. Another nice already. Man, there's nothing like bacon, is there? But yeah, so we're gonna get that around. Now, if you saw my shorts before, my greens, like I said, you know I make it with ham hock normally. This person did not want a ham hock. So, I, I make food for people, by the way. That's what I do. I sell food. <laughs> so, um, this person did not want the ham hock. So, we're going to do the bacon. Look at that. It's coming together nicely. If you can use the thick cut bacon, even better. But like I said, I just went, bacon's so expensive nowadays. I just went with some very inexpensive stuff. Sorry if my camera falls out. Now, if you notice, I'm not really looking to brown up the bacon and get it crispy as if this is like breakfast bacon. Oh, sorry guys. I um, got to do it just right. But um, I do want it to get a little bit brown, pinkish for you. But we're not going to cook it all the way. I'll tell you why in a second. I uh, just spread it all around the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our peppers and onions. Get in there. I want all my onions. Get in there. So we're gonna put the peppers and onions in there. See, one of the reasons I don't do cooking videos, guys, like big ones, I would love to, but I just hate my kitchen, honestly. It's not feng shui enough. It's not set up good the way I would want, where I can prep properly and cook. You know, for you guys, the way I would want to, so that's why I don't do a lot of cooking videos. But luckily, we're moving here very soon, and the house that we're going into has a way more functional kitchen. So we mix our peppers and onions in there, and obviously, we're going to cook them until those onions get translucent. I keep steaming up on me, sorry about that. Pretty good luck here, let me show you. Just show you, cook a little bit up. See, that's some fat there. We want that fat. Don't worry, she's gonna make flavor. Oh my goodness, the smell is so amazing. Just, you can imagine, it's, the smell is bacon, peppers, and onions. So you already know that smells good. All right, so we spread it back out along the bottom of the bowl. And now we are going to actually pan sear some of our greens. We'll go probably in thirds. Take a little bit of it. Okay, just gonna drop it right up in there. And just kind of stir them in, stir them in. We're gonna mix them around because we're gonna get them to wilt just a little bit and we'll add some more. We're doing all this before we add any liquid or anything at all, okay? Like I said, we're gonna do it in thirds. So that's the first third. See how they shrunk down a little bit already? Okay. Alright, that's how I like to do it, like to move it over a little bit. Now we're gonna grab some more. They're right in that empty spot over there. Alright, that's two thirds of our greens. Get off, get off, get off me, get off me, get off me. <laughs> Put that in there to do the same thing. Get them stirring around. 
This is already smelling good. He's sliding all over the place. This is already smelling good. It's smelling like I'm ready to dig in already. Okay. Then we'll put our last third in there and I'll show you what we do next. If y'all remember, we had those little bit of stalks. Now we're going to go ahead and put those last bit of stalks in there. It's going to cook too. Now I did all this. My stove goes to 10. I did all this on a number 8. Okay. But now we're going to uh, get ready to reduce the heat because we're going to be adding in our broth. As you can see how everything is already reduced in size. That's just the way we want it to look. And this is how you want your greens to be looking before you have even added any sauce or anything. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, minced garlic here. I'm gonna put some in. Now look, I've been doing this for a while, so y'all don't go by me. Measure how much you want. I'm just gonna, you know, I like garlic, so that's good enough right there. Just a little bit, a little bit, not, not, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna stir that in there, okay? Get that mixed in there. Now we are ready to add our chicken broth and the rest of our seasonings. Yeah, baby. I reduce these greens down a lot, as you can see. Normally my pot would be full and brimming over the top, but I actually went ahead and seared them down a lot. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna start with our seasonings. One bouillon cube, I'm going to drop that in there, just like that. Our garlic sauce. You we'll put as much or as little as you want. It's up to you guys. Okay. Crushed red pepper flakes. Don't we'll go too crazy with it. You know, people don't, some people like it spicy. Some people just want just a little hint of spice. All right. So as you can see right here, you see they got this nice, like dark green uh, color to it right now. That's because they're freshly starting. By the time we're done, they're gonna change that color, get more like an army green. Um, and the reason that I I, uh, I simmered them down. I think I said seared or that means simmered. <laughs> the reason I simmered them down so small is, is to get it more of a like a spinach texture. Some people like it like that. It's a little bit easier to eat, you know. It's up to you. When, when I show these cooking videos, this is how I do things. You can follow it exactly the way I do it. Or you can, you know, create your own style and technique. But I just know one thing. If you go with what I'm doing, they come out good. Look, I'm no chef. You know what I mean? I'm not doing a cookbook. I'm not even good at making cooking videos. I'm going to get better at it. So hopefully this helps you out, okay? And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add that honey in there. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's my secret. Um, I put a little bit of honey in there, probably about a half a tablespoon or more. Again, it's up to you. You, you do what, what you think is best for you and your family. I just tell you, it, it's not going to be overpowering. You may think, oh my goodness, it's going to be sweet. No, it, it gives it a hint of sweetness, but it's not overpowering. It is so freaking good. You have to take my word for it and try it. That's all I can say. Now, I'm using this wooden spoon because I want you to see, I haven't even done anything yet, but uh, like we know, it hasn't started boiling or anything, but you can see the color is already there. The broth is already cloudy. That's how you want it. That's your flavor right there. It's going to be in your actual broth. You know, if, if again, if you're collard green water or juice, whatever your broth you want to call it, if that's good, then guaranteed the greens are going to be good. So we're going to sit this, we're going to let this simmer on the stove for about 20 minutes before we check on it. We'll put the lid on. I got it on medium heat. We'll be back. All right, guys. So we let it simmer at medium heat for roughly, I would say I did it for about 15 minutes on medium heat. Then I turned it down to a low heat and simmered for another 15 minutes. This is where we at right now. You can see those chunks of meat, those chunks of fat. Um, they're not they're not soft gooey fat. It's actually it's very flavorful. I'm about to try this out for you, show you right now. Put the lid on that. Now I took some out earlier so I can let it cool because yeah, I didn't want to burn my mouth. This is what it looks like. Let me pick that up for you so you can get a good look. This is what we're looking at. Oh yeah. This piece of that bacon. We got some of that fat in there, some of the greens, and now uh, let's give it a shot. Good to me. Mmm. 
Look, I don't know about y'all, but I love me some good collard greens. Try this recipe. Tell me what you think. Um, you've seen it before. I know I could probably do better, but like I said, I'm not a big fan of my kids. It's small. Soon, we'll be a new, uh, a new place, new kitchen, and I'll be able to really produce and set up and do more cooking videos the way I want to. So, fat dude cooking, that's me. As always, be inspired, be inspirational, be. Kiki, did I ask you, did I did I tell you to say anything or did I convince you of anything about this broth before you take a sip? No. All right, so this is going to be your live reaction. Take a sip, for real, and tell me what you think. Now, that's collard green juice, y'all. Not bad. It's good, right? Tastes like a, a broth, like soup. That's how greens is supposed to be. If your juice is good, your greens is good.